guys and welcome to another episode of the Watchtower on a absolutely miserable Irish wintry Sunday. It is lashing rain outside even though the sun is shining. It feels like it's about 8 degrees in the house hence the lovely fluffy jumper I've got on. But that's not going to stop me giving you a really great review today of A Citizen World Time. So Citizen is a brand that many people are aware of already. They're in competition with the likes of Seiko, Orient and those kind of other Japanese manufacturers. But they don't seem to get a whole lot of love on the YouTube community and I'm not really sure as to why. To me they're roughly the same level as Seiko but Seiko seems to be the absolute fanboy's dream and I've never really understood it. So I'm going to take a look at a Citizen World Time today with their world famous Eco Drive solar powered movement and hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up for a like and subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed. No more talking guys, let's get to the review. So guys, as I said in the intro, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. Also, I'll pop up the price I paid for this one now. There we go. So there's the price for you that was paid on this watch. And I will be selling this one at the end of this video. So stick around and see exactly why I'm selling it. Quick explanation there on the Citizen outside sleeve of how the Eco Drive movement works. It's solar powered. That little QR code is actually the manual as well. Inside in the cardboard box, there's not really a whole lot except for this very nice uh, hard cardboard, I think it is. Uh, yeah, hard cardboard. So they're proudly proclaiming that it is recycled paper. So it's a paper slash cardboard outer box. It's quite sturdy though, in fairness. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic or cheap cardboard. It's, it's pretty decent. And you get a five-year warranty. And if you register your watch, you get an additional year. So six-year warranty on this one, guys really really good warranty so you really are getting covered very well by the citizen people on this one uh, i haven't registered this one yet again as i said i'm selling this one at the end of the video so stick around and see why inside in the cardboard we'll just take this off is the watch you don't really get anything else as i said there is no manual because it's a qr code and there is no polishing cloth or anything again an explanation of how the eco drive movement works and the watch itself it's on this nice kind of a uh, suede holder and uh, yeah there we go all right folks speed round now for the dimensions so we are looking at a diameter of 42 and a half millimeters from there to there at the widest point which is the crown at 10 and the pusher at 4 it's 48 millimeters lug to lug is 47.8 millimeters so nearly 48 Lug width is 22 millimeters, tapering down to 18 millimeters at the end of the bracelet, and then back up to 20 millimeters at this clasp. The thickness is just 11.5 millimeters, just there because it's a flat crystal. And also the weight with all lengths in is 141 grams, with five removed, my seven inch wrist is 124 grams. So let's go over the stats and specs on this one. It is all 316L stainless steel. It's high polish on the side of the case, brushed on the outer ends of those links, polished on the middle, and also a brushed clasp, which is also signed. Those buttons and pushers and crowns are all high polish as well. You can see there that this is a completely flat piece of mineral crystal. I have tested it. It is definitely not sapphire and the eye test shows that it is definitely not domed. It is also definitely not AR coated. It picks up every bit of light and reflects it back at you. This watch is fairly packed full of stats and specs. You can see there it's got a date function down there at 4 o'clock. It's got a chronograph hand there at 12, that red hand. Press it once the top pusher to start the chronograph function. It is a 1 to 1, so 1 tick per second. Push once to start, push once again to stop, there we go, nice satisfying push as well to give it a stop and push the bottom one down there to reset it back to 12. So as mentioned before, this is a Citizen Eco Drive, which means it's a solar powered movement that powers a quartz battery inside. You don't need to change the battery. You can see down there there's a small second hand at 6 o'clock for the ticking second hand. In order to change the date, it's a pull push crown, you just pull the crown out once to change the date. Pull it out a second time, it stops the small seconds, and you can adjust the time itself. Also, as mentioned before, this is a world time watch. So to tell the time in any specific time zone you're looking to do, what you do is you rotate that outer bezel with the numbers using the crown at 10 o'clock. You rotate it to your own time zone. So for me, this would be 3 o'clock, which is 1500 on the 24 hour clock. 
and I am based in the London time zone because I am in Ireland. So that is the start of GMT time zone. So if I line that up with three and o'clock, I can now tell it is seven o'clock in Dubai. It is nine o'clock in Jakka. It is midnight in Tokyo. Very handy if you're a business traveler and you want to know what time it is in another time zone. Also, this is 100 meters water resistance, so perfectly safe to go swimming with. Here is the watch out on my 7 inch wrist in some natural light. You can see that brushed clasp there with the sign citizen on it. It's quite nice on wrist. I have to say it's very comfortable. It looks well. You can see there it sits well on the wrist. It doesn't really sit too high or too proud off the wrist. Nice low profile on it. So handy enough. You can actually wear this pretty much anywhere. You can wear it out to dinner. You can wear it to a business meeting. You could wear it swimming if you wanted. It's a fairly go anywhere, do anything watch. So interesting macro shot this week guys because a lot of the stuff is printed and only the dials really are applied. You can see there that those numbers, cities and the numbers on the inside are all printed. Splash of colour from the red on the minute hand and from the second hand for the chronograph. You can see there that small second hand feature is applied as well and that citizen logo is applied but the eco drive and WR100 are not, they're just printed on. Nice colour on this one as well and you get a good contrast from that red against the navy blue and black. So loom time and this is Citizen's own proprietary loom. It is not BGW9 even though it looks really like it. I don't know what the name for this is. If anyone knows pop it in the comments. Uh, this is 15 minutes of footage sped up. It's from two minutes of light from my UV torch and it does a really good job of hanging in there. It doesn't have anything on the chronograph or the world time features although to be quite honest I'm not sure why you'd need those at 4am in the morning. You're more likely to be thinking 4am I need to go back to sleep for another four hours then get up for work. So what are my likes about this watch? Well, it is packed full of features. The fact that you're getting a date complication, small seconds hand, a world time, you're getting 100 meters of water resistance, a 24 hour indicator, and a very, very good brand on the dial as well with Citizen is an excellent bonus. Also, it's a super low maintenance movement, that Citizen Eco Drive movement, one charge of light will last for six months of battery life without another charge, which is absolutely excellent. Also the dimensions on this one, it's light but it's not too light, it's big but it's not too big. Easy enough to get straps for a 22, although it's not quite as easy as 20mm. It feels nice on the wrist, it's very comfortable to wear and it is just really really easy to rock in any situation. The other thing is I really like the design of this bracelet I must say because they've fitted it with these links that sort of just fold into the end links. So you can see there that they kind of just sit in under and that really helps it conform to your wrist. To show you what I mean, here's my Lario from one of my very first videos. You can see there that that end link sticks out further which means that it wears kind of higher on the wrist and it doesn't really form as well. It's not as form fitting. So you can see there that that is protruding way more than the citizen links are and that really is a bonus because it just makes it so much easier to wear. So I did mention at the start of this video I would be selling this watch at the end and to be honest the dislikes are very minimal on this one. Really the only dislike I have is personal preference. One of the main things that I didn't like about this bracelet though was the fact that this is not actually an engineer bracelet with five individual pieces. It is one piece maybe two if you see there those kind of folded up bits underneath made to look like a five piece engineer and if it folded it more over as you can see there if those individual pieces moved it would conform to wrist a bit better again very very small dislike on this one uh, the brushing on the outside of this one is so faint it almost looks high polish all the way through just not quite right on it it not it just looks all high polish and i don't know why they bothered brushing to be honest it is also push pins on the bracelet which is yeah it's okay it's not great i'm not a huge fan of them sometimes the push pins can get damaged also this press clasp i mean i would have expected a machine clasp at the price but it's a good secure clasp the thing that really annoys me is the fact that there's only two micro adjusts so you get one extra position to move it to and if you don't like that you're kind of screwed really the main reason I'm going to be selling though is just a personal preference. Uh, I don't mind the fact that there's not signed crown or signed uh, pushers. would have been nice, but look, it doesn't kill me either way. The reason I'm selling this one though is the dial. I just think it's a bit too cluttered. So you can see there that those numbers are sort of cut out to fit the chronograph dials. And I just think that even with that red chronograph writing on it and the fact that there's so much going on in this dial already, cutting out the numbers just makes it look like it was kind of an afterthought to stick those dials in. I wish they'd used indices rather than numbers because I think I'd have forgiven it a lot more for that. But to me, it just looks a bit too busy and a bit too hectic. 
So guys, there you have it. My review of the Citizen World Time, or to give it its actual model name, the Citizen AT0361-57 L. And you can see why I called it the Citizen World Time. Yeah, I mean, considering they have other names like Nighthawk and Blue Angel and other things like that in their range, and you know, I, I don't know why they stuck with a model number for this one, but I'm just going to call it Citizen World Time. It's a hell of a lot easier. Um, it's a great watch, it really is. I, it's just personal preference that I didn't fall in love with it. I thought I might have been able to get over that dial, but it's just not for me, unfortunately. It will make someone very happy if you want a solar-powered watch, or you want a very low-maintenance, reliable, easy-to-wear watch, or you want a world timer that isn't like the Reef Tiger I bloody reviewed last time, which wasn't a world timer. If you want a true world timer, this might be a good option for you, and it really is great. Um, as I say, I wish I could have got on with that dial a bit more, but I just wasn't to be. And someone's going to be very happy with it if they pick it up from my uh, eBay account. So I'll pop a link to that, guys, in the below. Don't forget, if you did like the video, give us a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, comment. You know the usual. I've been your host, DK. It's been the Watchtower Watch Reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.